Good morning, Sec Trees. I'm Mr. Xiao, and today we are going to have a video uh, to talk about how to analyze political cartoons in Upper Sec history. And this is part of your holiday homework. So uh, recall that we have asked you to do this Padlet activity on Chapter 4, specifically on Nazi Germany's expansionist policies. And you may have read in your textbook that there were several key events in the 1930s, the late 1930s, that uh, were pursued by Nazi Germany that led to the outbreak of World War II. So in this lesson, we look specifically at five key events. The key events we look at are the conscription policy from 1935 onwards, the remilitarization of the Rhineland in 1936, Germany's involvement in the Spanish Civil War in 1937, Anschluss Onschlo with Austria in 1938, which is the forbidden union with Austria, forbidden, as you recall, by the Treaty of Versailles. And finally, from 1938 to 1939, the Munich Agreement and the subsequent invasion, Nazi invasion of Czechoslovakia. So these are events that uh, form out of Nazi Germany's expansionist policy. Expansionist meaning that Nazi Germany wants to increase its territory uh, through aggressive invasion. And these events build up towards World War II. So the first part of the Padlet activity required you to read up on one of these five events, or rather, sorry, one of these four events, because one of them has been done by us by your teachers, we did the first event on the conscription as an example of how to read up and describe the event. So for each of your events, you would have, I think, I hope, you would have gone and read the textbook, the pages are in the Padlet headers. You would have given some details about this event that you chose. And then you would have tried to explain how the event you chose contributed to the outbreak of World War II in 1939 between Germany and the Allies, Britain and France. So having read about your event, the next task uh, and the second main task was to look at a political cartoon that we selected based on your event. So for example, the teachers who describe conscription and rearmament Right, we will be looking at this cartoon uh, on the event that we chose, which is on conscription and rearmament. And notice that the date here, March 20th, 1935, is actually a cartoon that responds to Hitler's declaration that he is instituting conscription in Germany. Hitler decides to institute conscription, which is to recruit soldiers for Germany's army in March 1935. This is problematic because it breaks the Treaty of Versailles. And we'll talk more about this in the cartoon as we analyze it. And so if you were to choose the other events, like the remilitarization of the Rhineland, you'll be looking at this cartoon of the goose, uh, which is stepping all over the Locarno Pact. If you were to choose the Spanish Civil War, you'll be looking at this cartoon, of Uncle Sam, the person representing America with the top hat, the stars and spangles in the top hat, watching worriedly. The river here, of course, represents the Atlantic Ocean that separates the USA from Europe. And, of course, there's a geographical in, uh, implication to this. The, the Nazi swastika is rolling over Spanish workers and were Spain to be defeated. The next step might be America, as pointed by this sign saying world domination, South America, North America. So all of these cartoons have their own implications and you will investigate them. How? How do we investigate? How do we study a political cartoon? There are three steps to investigating a political cartoon. Uh, the first step, describe what you see. The second step, uh, flesh out what you already know. And this second step of what do you already know can be taken from what you've already done in the previous part of the Padlet activity. 
where you went to the textbook and you wrote up what you have learned about your event. And finally, by putting together what you see from the cartoon and what you know from reading the textbook, you can craft the messages of the cartoon. What is the cartoon trying to say? So let me model this now for you using cartoon A on conscription and rearmament. To recap, the three steps are what do I see from the cartoon? What do I know about the event? And by putting together what I see and what I know, I can understand what the cartoon is saying. I can interpret the cartoon. So let's look at this cartoon. This cartoon, what do I see? I'm just gonna uh, type it out. I see Hitler. Hitler is very prominent. Hitler with a Nazi swastika armband doing a Hitler salute. I see that, right? What else do I see? I see the, um, a parade that is saluting back to Hitler. I see that the it's dated, cartoon is dated March 20th, 1935. And what's interesting about this parade, what's interesting, the back part has German soldiers marching in step. That's not surprising. What is surprising is the front. Who's in front? Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but there is a label on this gentleman's clothes and it's Clemenceau. The front of the parade has Clemenceau. And what you know about Clemenceau is that he was the French the French Prime Minister who imposed the harsh Treaty of Versailles on Germany, right? Clemenceau, Poincare. So in fact Clemenceau and Poincare are French leaders. And who else does it have? The Ville Chamberlain. which is the British leader. And of course, um, very prominently, you see Mussolini here. Mussolini is the French leader, oh, not French, sorry, Italian leader. And what are they doing? Isn't it bizarre? They're marching in the parade of German soldiers. And what are they doing? They are who are also doing the Nazi salute. So already there's something strange going on here. What is the cartoonist trying to say about these leaders and about their actions? And once I put once we put in our knowledge, I think this cartoon's message will become quite clear. Um finally, let's talk about the flag. The front of the parade also has uh, is a flag that states. 17 years of lost opportunity and, and the leader of the parade is carrying a rope up Versailles Treaty. Right, and finally the caption of the cartoon is cause precedes effect. Or the word precedes means comes before. Okay, so I have mined out some important uh, details about the cartoon. And I want to now talk about what I know um, about this event, conscription and rearmament. So what do I know about the event, conscription and rearmament? I know that in 1933, Hitler came to power, right? And in 1933, Hitler came to power promising to break the hated Treaty of Versailles that restricted Germany's military. And in 1935, Hitler began to remilitarize Germany 
by introducing an air force and to begin conscription that expanded Germany's army to 550,000 troops. I know all this from, from what? From my Padlet activity, right? I went to read the textbook. I went to read the textbook and I already found out about conscription and rearmament. So these historical details, these facts, these ideas come back and form the basis of my contextual knowledge when I interpret a political cartoon about that historical event. Um, so again, your political cartoon activity is your second activity for the ho holiday homework. It should be done after you have done the first activity of describing your event and explaining how it le led to the outbreak of World War II. So I have these two pieces of knowledge. And in fact, if you have read ahead in your textbook, if you have read ahead in your textbook, you might also know something interesting that the airlines were pursuing a policy of appeasement of Germany, meaning that so they did not act decisively when Germany broke the Treaty of Versailles. We might also know this. Um, and this comes sort of in the late 1930s as Germany does more and more aggressive actions and the Allies really stand at the side and, and shrug their shoulders and wring their hands and do nothing much. So you know these things. I have what I see, I have what I know, and I'm going to put these things together to write out what the cartoon is saying. I'm running out of space. Okay, I'm going to remove this part. So what is the cartoon saying? Um, let's do an interpretation now. So one interpretation I think is that conscription and rearmament is happening in Germany, right? And it's supported by German, the German army. Conscri Hitler's conscription and rearmament policy is supported by the German military forces. How do I know this? Because the, the German military is marching in lockstep and supporting Hitler, right? But what el who else is supporting this or who else is allowing this to happen? Interestingly, Hit it is the Western leaders. And how do I know this? I know this because the Western leaders here are also marching and doing the Hitler salute. In other words, according to this cartoonist, and we can dispute what the cartoonist is saying later, we can ask whether or not we trust this cartoon's message. But first of all, what is the message? It's that the Western leaders are supporting Hitler, right? By doing the Nazi salute back at Hitler, which I think you should find very surprising. They are Hitler's enemies eventually. They are the last people you expect to be saluting Hitler. But in this case, they, they seem to be very supportive. Um, and what else do I know? The Western leaders are have helped or have assisted Hitler in ignoring the restrictions imposed by Treaty of Versailles. How do I know this? Because they have rolled up the Treaty of Versailles here, Versailles Treaty, and it's not of not of any consequence, right? It's not stopping Hitler's rearmament, despite clearly stating that Hitler can't conscript armies or have an air force. Hitler has broken the treaty, and the Western leaders are supporting him. What about this seventeen years of lost opportunity? Um. 17 years. So 1935, if you count 17 years back, it would be 1918, 1919. So between 1919 and 1935, presumably, um, presumably, you could say there was a chance to get Germany into a more 
peace loving and uh peace loving and less aggressive policy, but the but that didn't happen. So in other words, this flag might be criticizing criticizing the Western leaders for not having made use of the chance after World War I to really build positive relations with Germany such that Germany wouldn't have to resort to military action. So the Western leaders failed to use opportunity of post-war peace to ensure Germany remain uh, disarmed and peaceful. I'm running out of space. I'm just going to make this cartoon a bit smaller. Okay. I want to make one last point. And the last point I want to make about this cartoon is is cause precedes effect. Cause precedes effect. So the idea of cause precedes effect, right? As you said, cause comes before. Effect here is that Hitler has remilitarized. Germany. That's the effect. So what is what is the cause? Why has Hitler remilitarized Germany? I think one natural natural thought is that it's because Hitler is crazy and the Nazis are a warmongering, um, fanatical far right party that has always wanted to break a treaty of Versailles. So you could just lay this squarely on Hitler and the Nazi party's feet that the Nazis are warmongering, are aggressive. This would have happened anyway. They always promised to break the Treaty of Versailles. Now that they've come to power, of course they did it. So you could say that is the cause of Hitler's remilitarization policy. But there is nothing in the cartoon that discusses Nazi, uh, Nazi party ideology or Hitler's aggressive foreign policy. Instead, the focus of the cartoon here is really the parade that you see, and in particular, the front of the parade, the crowd of Western leaders who are doing the Nazi salute. The crowd of Western leaders doing the Nazi salute is the focus of this cartoon. So what is the cause that David Lowe is trying to highlight? I suspect he is criticizing and blaming someone. He's blaming the Western leaders for being permissive towards Hitler. I suspect David Lowe's message here is that because the Western leaders are so permissive, to Hitler, allowing Hitler to do whatever he wants. That is why Hitler has the guts and the gumption to go and remilitarize Germany. And so, I think I think this is the key of the cartoon. The cartoon is blaming Western leaders for being so permissive towards Hitler, such that Hitler is now or bold enough to remilitarize Germany without fear of any consequences. Remember that the contrast here is 1923, the rule. In 1923, when Germany just didn't pay on time, didn't pay France with the reparations on time, France immediately invaded the rule. Now, in 1935, Germany is breaking a more significant clause of the treaty. Germany is remilitarizing and getting weapons. And France and Britain are doing nothing. Right, so that's the contrast you should be thinking about. In 1923, France immediately invades. In 1935, France and Britain just, uh, in Donald Lowe's cartoon, march by and salute Hitler. And of course, one could really wonder whether this is true, uh, because this is such a surprising depiction of the Western leaders' attitudes. And I think at this time, Donald Lowe, sorry, David Lowe, 
David Lowe is being a bit more critical than, and and of course it's a sketch, it's a cartoon. He is, um, caricaturing the leaders in a way that may not be true at this point. But one interesting thing about David Lowe's cartoons, his lampooning and satire and caricaturing of the leaders is that, eventually, all of his criticisms turn true because the Allies do pursue what is comes to be known as a peaceman of Hitler. And this is very prescient. David Lowe sees it right in 1935. People, other observers only notice this later in 1937, 1938, especially after Munich, it becomes very clear. At this point, it's still not clear that the Western leaders would have backed down. Um, okay, and we've done the three steps. We have said, what do we see? We describe the cartoon. So this is a description of cartoon. We have written, what do I know? which is coming out of the contextual knowledge that we uh, gathered in, from the textbook using the Padlet. And finally, we, we have done the interpretation. What is the cartoon saying? Having done these three steps, I want to put it now on the Padlet. So, in today's video lesson, I have shown you how one, how we can thoroughly analyze and interpret historical cartoons. I've done the three steps uh, for you in a video, and I would like you now, on your own, to go and investigate the cartoons you have found for you on each of the various events. And that is your task for today. Uh, before I conclude, I just had two more last comments to make. The first comment is that this activity, this task, allows you to generate an interpretation of the cartoon. It allows you to craft the message of the cartoon. In this case, for cartoon A, on cause precedes effect, the message is that the Western leader's permissiveness towards Hitler has allowed Hitler to break the Treaty of Versailles and remilitarize Germany. A message question could easily turn into a purpose question. And for this cartoon, the purpose is quite obvious. David Lowe is criticizing and blaming the Western leaders that the Western leaders' permissiveness towards Hitler has allowed Hitler to break the Treaty of Versailles and remilitarize Germany. It's evident from the fact that the Western leaders are at the forefront of a parade saluting Hitler. I can see leaders such as uh, Mussolini, Chamberlain, uh, Clemenceau. The French, British and German leaders are all there. They have rolled up the Treaty of Versailles and they are all giving Hitler the Nazi salute in great support of his policy of conscription and rearmament. And this is done so that David Lowe, right? This is done so that the Western leaders, whom David Lowe is criticizing, the Western leaders are going to rethink their policy realize that they are being played, made into fools for allowing Hitler to get away with all this and start becoming more firm and aggressive to stop Hitler before he becomes too powerful and starts a new world war. So again, in political cartoons, the message question, crafting the message of the cartoon, interpreting the cartoon, could easily be turned into a purpose question. So that's the first thing I want to share with you. The second concluding comment or remark I have is, once you have done your analysis based on what do you see, what do you know, and what is the cartoon saying, once you have done and posted it on Padlet, I would like you to go and explore some of the sources that are provided here. In particular, there's quite a nice video on Hitler's expansionism. From 32 minutes to 34 minutes, you can go and look at this video. It's called Evolution of Evil, Adolf Hitler. And your final task is to write on full scap the essay question. It's a 12-mark essay. We have taught you this. I explain how each of the following led to the outbreak of World War II in 1939. The first factor, the failure of the League of Nations, has been taught to you already. 
And the second factor is what you have learned through this Padlet activity, Germany's expansionist policy. And you may use your classmates' writing all the way from A to E to support you in writing this paragraph. Okay, that's it for my lesson today on analyzing political cartoons. Have a good June break. Um, see, you rest, see you rested and refreshed for Term 3. Thank you, Sec 3 students.